A new study has revealed sensational details about the Milankovic cycles, which play a central role in predicting future ice ages. Although the date of the next ice age seems to be far in the future, Earth is already preparing for the cooling. Scientists therefore rightly doubt that we are actually in a stable warm period. Rather, the supposed warm period could be a short interlude between two ice ages. If this is true, all climate predictions could be invalid. And if the Gulf Stream also slows down, we could be facing an ice age rather than a tropical climate catastrophe. Ice ages are not an exception on Earth, but a natural part of the climate cycle. Over millions of years, the Earth has repeatedly cooled dramatically, followed by warm periods and moderate periods, as we are currently experiencing. We have a climate that is freezing cold in the extreme south and north, and tropical hot at the equator. Only minimal changes are needed to completely turn the Earth's climate upside down. The Milankovic cycles describe changes in the Earth's orbit, axial tilt, and precession that influence how much sunlight reaches different regions of the Earth. In addition, factors such as volcanism, changes in ocean circulation, and atmospheric greenhouse gases play a role. The last ice age ended about 12,000 years ago, which is really just a blink of an eye in historical terms. If the Earth's climate is indeed in an interglacial period, that is between two small ice ages, a new ice age would be likely in 10 to 20,000 years. Our man-made climate change could dramatically alter this cycle. It remains unclear whether the current rise in CO2 will delay, prevent, or bizarrely accelerate this development. A new study has now come to some astonishing conclusions. Malutin Milankovic and his climate cycles. The new study is based on findings by Malutin Milankovic who discovered astonishing algorithms in the Earth's climate at the beginning of the 20th century. It's crazy how our Earth ticks like clockwork and how the Serbian mathematician and astrophysicist figured out these rhythms. While Milutin Milankovic was a prisoner of war, he began to make complicated calculations about the Earth's movement in the solar system. His idea was that the long-term fluctuations in the Earth's orbit could be directly related to the ice ages. Decades later, his calculations were confirmed, and today, the Milankovitch cycles are a basic concept in climate science. Milankovitch's theory states that the Earth's climate changes due to three cyclical changes in the Earth's movement. Eccentricity corresponds to the shape of the Earth's orbit. Obliquity is the tilt of the Earth's axis. And precession is the wobble of the axis. These cycles influence how much sunlight the Earth receives over long periods of time, which in turn controls the growth or melting of the ice caps. Milankovitch's calculations showed that ice ages always occur when this combination of rotation, wobble, and axial tilt show certain overlaps. If we take these cycles into account, we are currently in an interglacial period, an interglacial that began around 12,000 years ago. According to the cycles, a new ice age would be due in 10,000 to 20,000 years, but the exciting question remains, how climate change is altering this natural rhythm? Milankovitch's pioneering work showed that fluctuations in the Earth's climate are not random, but are controlled by a precise cosmic clockwork. It is possible that we humans are disrupting this clockwork through our actions, and we do not know where this will lead. The new study aims to find out exactly that in order to protect humans and prevent us from making further mistakes and taking the wrong measures in climate protection. When will the next ice age begin? Who would have thought that humans have made such an enormous leap in development since the end of the last ice age around 12,000 years ago? It is exciting to consider whether the development of humans as a species is also part of the cosmic clockwork. We are now dramatically changing the climate, and scientists have been investigating how our actions can actually influence the Earth's climate. After the end of the last ice age, the glaciers receded and temperatures became comparatively mild. But this phase is only an interruption in the Earth's natural climate cycle. The question is not whether a new ice age is coming, but when. The Milankovic cycles reveal to scientists regular changes in the Earth's orbit, axial tilt, and precession. These cycles predict a new ice age in approximately 10 to 20,000 years. 
However, it is misleading to think that this event will not begin for many thousands of years. Basically, it is happening right now. While we are stuck in the meantime, the clock continues to tick and the Earth continues to follow its cycles, regardless of what we humans do or want. In the study now presented, the researchers were able to prove that the Earth's axial tilt, its obliquity, is already decreasing. The gradual cooling over thousands of years has therefore already begun. We have an influence on these processes, certainly not on the precession or the tilt of the Earth's axis, but on developments within the atmosphere. Climate data shows that we have been able to change this dramatically in less than 100 years. Industrialization, and with it the greenhouse gas problem, began around 100 years ago. With the advance of technology and industrialization, emissions of CO2 and other greenhouse gases increased rapidly. The sharp and unnatural rise could shift or delay the cycle. Some models suggest that the massive warming caused by climate change could delay an ice age by tens of thousands of years. Others believe that the Earth, as an intelligent system, could come to a compensatory movement and usher in a premature ice age to mitigate the unnatural warming. Current studies consider both possibilities to be feasible. At present, we simply know too little about the Earth's climate and the organization of its cycles and regulatory mechanisms. The fact is that the Earth has always recovered from catastrophes and extreme changes by compensating for and balancing new conditions. The terrestrial and cosmic systems could possess a previously unrecognized intelligence that may be favorable to us humans and slow down the consequences of our actions. The Alanin Impact the asteroid that plunged the Earth into an ice age. The regenerative capacity of our planet is demonstrated by an event that took place around 2.5 million years ago and triggered the first major ice age. At a speed of over 70,000 kilometers per hour, an asteroid measuring between 1 and 4 kilometers in diameter hurtled toward Earth and struck the Pacific Ocean with a tremendous explosion. The explosion released a thousand times more energy than the most powerful nuclear weapons and created a huge fireball that set the sky ablaze. In a fraction of a second, masses of water vaporized, while gigantic tsunamis raced in all directions and flooded coastal regions. Large masses of salt and water vapor reached the stratosphere, where they destroyed the protective ozone layer, a process we are now experiencing again due to our greenhouse gases. In this case, however, the Earth did not become warmer, but colder. Dust and salts in the atmosphere dimmed the sunlight so much that the Earth began to cool rapidly. This is how the Alanin impact probably triggered the first major ice age of the Quaternary period. Before this event, the Earth was a warm world with dense forests, giant mammals such as mastodons and saber-toothed tigers, and stable climactic conditions. But after the impact, everything changed. Temperatures dropped dramatically, polar ice masses began to spread, and the climate became more unpredictable. Researchers found evidence of this event in ice cores and sediment layers that showed a sudden increase in iridium. Iridium is the element that is commonly found in asteroids. The remains of the asteroid were scattered throughout the rock layers and are still evidence of this massive impact today. At the same time, Further global geological analyses show that an abrupt climate change occurred in many places at exactly this time, which cannot be explained solely by the natural Milankovitch cycles. The asteroid thus triggered a development that caused an unnatural ice age. The Alanin impact is one of the best examples of how cosmic catastrophes can influence the Earth's climate and cycles. Without this impact, the climate might never have changed so dramatically and the first humans might have evolved in a completely different world. After violent events like these, the Earth changes, new forms of life appear, the climate is different, and the plant world changes. Around 60 million years ago, a comet wiped out the dinosaurs. The event led to a drastic change on the Earth's surface. Life underwent an extreme transformation, but it continued to exist and ultimately gave rise to us. How does the Gulf Stream influence an ice age? There is another factor that we should not underestimate. Almost the entire northern hemisphere of the planet and our culture benefit from the Gulf Stream, which acts as a gigantic oceanic heat pump, transporting warm water from the tropics to the north and thus making the climate in Europe and North America pleasant for our settlements. Without the Gulf Stream, 
it would be significantly colder in the northern hemisphere. The ice masses of the northern polar regions would extend further south, summers would be shorter, and we would have different vegetation zones and crop yields in Europe. If the Gulf Stream weakens or even stops, it could trigger massive climate change, possibly even a new ice age. This ice age would be independent of the Milankovic calculations. The Gulf Stream is part of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation and a global system of ocean currents that we only begin to understand. Warm water is transported from the tropics toward the north across the entire globe. There, the water cools, becomes denser, and sinks, creating a return flow toward the south. This system influences the climate and ensures stable weather conditions. But what happens if the Gulf Stream slows down or stops? The melting of the polar ice masses in Greenland and the Arctic washes huge amounts of fresh meltwater into the North Atlantic, diluting the salty and dense seawater. If this process continues, the water will no longer be able to sink so easily, and the entire current could be disrupted. The result would be a significant cooling of Europe and North America. With fewer warm tropical winds reaching the north, North America could experience more severe winter storms. Africa and the Amazon could suffer from droughts because less humid air masses would reach the south. A weakening or a halt of the Gulf Stream would therefore create exactly the conditions that triggered ice ages in the past. Scientists suspect that a similar change around 12,000 years ago led to the so-called Younger Dreyas Cold Period, a sudden cooling of the Earth that almost triggered a mini ice age. Current studies indicate that the Gulf Stream is already more unstable than it has been for over 1,000 years. The Scenario The Next Ice Age begins. Let's take a look at the uncertain future of the Earth. While we are still trying to understand and control the greenhouse effect, unexpected changes could drastically reverse the climate. Temperatures could fall slowly but steadily. Snowfall in temperature regions would be conceivable well into the summer. Glaciers could begin to grow again, and sea ice could spread unusually far south. In the North Atlantic, the weakening Gulf Stream could show the first catastrophic signs. Europe would be increasingly plagued by icy storms and bitterly cold winters. Great Britain, Scandinavia, and large parts of northern Germany could turn into a harsh, uninhabitable tundra. In Canada and Siberia, the current melting of the tundra areas could come to an abrupt halt. Sea levels would then begin to rise slowly as more and more water is bound in glaciers and ice sheets. This would be the exact opposite of current climate forecasts, which only refer to climate change caused by greenhouse gases which, despite the changed forecasts, would not be the case for several thousand years, ice masses would bury the whole of North America up to the Great Lakes and the whole of Europe as far as central Italy. Cities such as New York, London, Berlin, and Moscow would exist in this phase only as memories under kilometers of ice. Life would have slowly shifted further and further toward the equator. Changed conditions on the continents or in Africa would have led to the emergence of human settlements there if we still exist at this point. Subscribe to the channel now and be there for every new video.